coming to you live from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We're inside the joint. This bout, a featherweight matchup. Ten rounds is expected on the schedule, that is. But it could end much sooner than that with Kevin Kelly involved. Let's look at the tail of the tape here between the two fighters. As you can see here, the age advantage, Kelly, a mature 32 to 24 over Art Chuleta. The height, exactly the same weight advantage. Kelly, reach. Kelly comes up a bit short there. Art Chuleta gets him by one inch. And we take a look at the rules. No standing eight count. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight. And the fighter can be saved by the bell in only the final round. Ladies and gentlemen from the joint inside the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we bring you a special 10-round featherweight attraction. Judges at ringside are Al Lefkowitz, Art Lurie, and Dave Moretti. Your referee in charge is Joe Cortez. Introducing first, he fights out of the red corner. He weighed in at 126 and a half pounds. He's wearing the blue trunks with silver trim. He is from Las Vegas, New Mexico. His record, 18 wins, no defeat, one draw, 11 wins by knockout. Introducing from the original Las Vegas, Las Vegas, New Mexico, Frankie Archuleta. And his opponent across the ring, he fights out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 128 pounds, and tonight he wears the yellow trunks with the green trim. He is from Flushing, New York, now living and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. His professional record, a very fine 50 wins, only four defeats, two draws, 33 big wins by knockout. Here is the former WBC featherweight champion of the world, introducing the flashing flash, Kevin Kelly. Joe Cortez now to give the instructions. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Give me good sportsmanlike conduct. Understand? Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Understand? Touch them up. As we get ready here to start this 10-round battle here, Jake Cotter is doing the honors inside of the ring tonight. And there's a look at Kevin Kelly, a major fight for him this evening with discussions of a Hamed the Prince Junior Jones fight, not concrete. A victory by Kelly tonight could put him back in the mix for a rematch with Hamed, should he pick up this victory as we start round one. Atulet on the blue trunks, Kelly in the yellow and green. Kelly, former champ in the featherweight division. He was the WBC champ from 1993 to 1995. Has a record of 54 and two with 33 knockouts. And during his two years as a champion, it was almost as if Kelly was invincible. No one thought that he was going to be knocked off from the pedestal. And eventually he did fall. And he hasn't reclaimed that championship form since, although he came extremely close a few years ago against Prince Nassim Hamed. That was about December of 1997. Archuleta comes in with an unblemished mark. He does have one draw. He's 18-0 with 11 knockouts. And you can see he's taking his time and being extremely careful here this evening against Kelly, the southpaw. Not only does he have that to advantage, but he also has the championship caliber, the championship form in his arsenal as well. Crowd of about 1,800 on hand here inside of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Watching this bout this evening, and so far what they see is Kevin Kelly's jab dictating the pace of this fight and forcing Archuleta to hop, hop on his high horse and do circles around the ring here. 24-year-old out of Las Vegas, New Mexico, showing great respect here for Kelly. Nice combination there by Kelly in retaliation. And 
and you can see how Kelly is being very conservative this evening. Although left himself a bit open there, and Archuleta made him pay for it. Archuleta has not thrown many punches here in the first round, but the punches he has, has thrown made some contact. Did tie Kelly up there. But again, he is staying his distance, as you can see right there, because of that right jab by Kelly. We go to the corners. Seats. You got me? Okay? Last and not least. And you just heard Kelly's corner trainer Phil Borgia as we start round two saying you need to attack the body and be a bit more active inside with combinations. And this bout is slated for 10 rounds. But with Kevin Kelly, you never know how long a fight's going to last. He has the power. He's shown it in the past. 33 knockouts. Of course, one more tonight, as I mentioned earlier, would put him in the mix for a rematch with the Prince, Nasim Ahmed, sometime in March, possibly. And Archuleta comes out a bit more offensive at this round. Referee Joe Cortez giving him a bit of a warning there for the rabbit punches. And watching Archuleta makes, making his moves inside of the ring. See, his eyes are really wide open, extremely alert. And once again, even though he has a mark of 18-0-1, you'd think he might be a bit more aggressive. Not at all. He's just staying back and letting Kelly dictate the fight. But Kelly's jab is just racking up points here at ringside for the judges. He really hasn't thrown a power punch yet this evening. As you can see with his awkward style, he not only is a southpaw, but he also carries that left shoulder a little bit lower than the norm. So it's almost like he's, his body's at, at a leaning position when he comes into the attack. Also, it helps him to evade punches in the process. Quick right there by Kelly. Makes nice contact, but doesn't do much. And key about Archuleta here, not throwing much in return. He's backing off and just looking for a big punch, but he's not throwing his jab trying to set things up. Kelly's taking advantage of that. Kelly switches up. Comes right back inside. And Archuleta. Kelly goes inside. Not much connecting there. Now Archuleta may be a hit in Las Vegas, New Mexico. But right now, inside of Las Vegas, Nevada, in the joint showroom, it's not showing much to the fans on hand. And the second round. Go to the corners. Be interesting to see what Kelly's corner is going to say here. 
about the activity inside. Deep breath, cheer up for me. No matter what you do. Cheer up for me and breathe, then you can talk. You got me? You know more tomorrow. You know more tomorrow. You got that? Look at me. I want you to think about it because you got to be at your best. You understand me? Your smartest and your fastest. Every time you let him change your mode, you invite him into this fight. You see what I'm saying? Hear what I just said. Every time you allow him to change your mode, you invite him into this fight. Put that down. I don't want him in this fight. Keep this with right? You're standing and watching him too much. All right? Stay closer and be a little bit more. As we start round three between Archuleta and Kelly here at the joint showroom at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Kelly in the yellow and green trunks, Archuleta in the blue and silver. You heard the corner of Archuleta just now telling him needs to pick up the pace, be a bit more active inside. The key to that, of course, is to establish a jab. He has not done that yet. He's coming in with the big punches, trying to create something. But everybody knows that in boxing, the key to creating a sequence of moves is the jab. And so far, we haven't seen Kelly load up much tonight. He's just using his right jab, and he's fighting a conservative fight because he knows what may be on the horizon for him as well. A loss would be devastating to him. A defeat, of course, would be huge. inside there by Archuleta. Rocks Kelly back for a second, but Kelly just continues to press forward. Keeping his hands more together. He's looking to try to get that left inside now. Not throwing the jab as much. Or on the hunt. Nice big left. Backs Archuleta back a little bit. Now you got a little bit of blood trickling down the, the left nostril of Archuleta. minute left here in round three. And the experience of the former WBC champ is too much to handle as he comes inside and forces Anchelette against the ropes. Too much to handle for this youngster from Las Vegas, New Mexico. So far, the 24-year-old has done very little, and the little that he has done has not worked against Kelly. Kelly style, very similar to a Roy Jones type, where he just kind of like lunges at you a little bit. Throws his quick punches and gets out. Less than 10 seconds left in round three in a battle where Kevin Kelly, wearing an A's boxing trunk tonight, is tossing a shutout against Frankie Archuleta. On a breakdown. He's busting up. Why do you think? Okay. Time to play chess with him. Got a fire at him. Okay. Get on your jab a little. Ah, yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Okay. Son, you need to pick up the pace. Okay. Use your jab and fire your combinations at him. But you got to set up with the jab. Huh? There it is. Okay. All right. You got to use your jab. Use your foot on the outside, okay? You're standing and waiting on him. You want to see a good, strong jab. We look at some of the action here from the third round. Kelly with a nice overhand left. Buckles Archuleta for a quick second. He gets right back right, into the mix. Out. And there you can see the scars of 
Archuleta's fighting career, 24-year-old again, has had 19 fights. He is undefeated, 18-0-1. But that undefeated record is in danger this evening against Kevin Kelly. Best two jabs of the fight thrown by Archuleta. Kelly forces him back in the ropes. Let's see a hug for a second, but nothing else. And Kelly. Playing it a little bit conservative here this evening. He is faster. He is stronger. And thus far, he has proven that he is better. And his opponent, nice right hand connects on the chin of Kevin Kelly. Best punch of the fight thrown by Archuleta. But it did not phase Kelly. He kind of rolled with the punch there, so he didn't have to absorb much damage. Kelly comes right back again, that left now, and you can see he's not throwing that right jab as much. He's coming in, loading in, setting himself up with that big left. Mo Macias, Archuleta's cut man, has done a great job with his nose. No bleeding here in round number four. Nose busted up last round. But as I say that, Kelly comes right back and throws a jab into the nostril there. He's gonna touch you once in a while. Just over a minute here left in the fourth round. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada, back to the boxing capital of the world for the first fight of 2000 here in the Valley. Now you're walking down. Hard Rock Hotel and Casino just located about a mile off of the famed strip. It's only the third boxing card ever held inside of the showroom here. Joe Cortez comes in, breaks it up, gives a little bit of a warning there. A very quick warning to, uh, didn't even look at him, to, to Kelly, acknowledging the uh, punches from behind. Break out, break out, break out, break out. Let's go. Now our Seen a more active Archuleta here. He's coming in stronger. But as you can see, he's trying to set something up here for the big knockout. Hoping that he can do one big punch, get some damage in there, and see what happens from there. Less than 10 seconds left in round number four. As Archuleta goes down. That's a slip. That is a slip. Or actually, it is a knock. It is a knockdown now. Fans here booing that one. They have to look at this one on the replay, perhaps. And that's the end of the round. And Archuleta, devastating round at the end for him as he loses the point there on the knockdown. Let's listen to the corners. That was bullshit. He didn't knock nothing down. That was bullshit. But again, see? Fighting a Vegas boy with a Vegas judge, son. Okay? Spit it. Okay, son, that was a better round. That was a better round. Don't reach for him, Frank. You're starting to get the rhythm. You're starting to get on him, okay? Don't. Let's look at that knockdown here. Was it a slip or was it a knockdown? All you can see really is just a left that kind of like pushed Archuleta right into Kelly. He comes in, he hits him with that left, and it's as if Archuleta never got a solid foothold after that. So we look again. It's a big left. I mean, it's a left that could floor the guy. And Joe Cortez thought it was enough to call it a knockdown as we start the round. Fifth round of action here in Las Vegas between Kevin Kelly and Frankie Archuleta. And so far, the first big blow tonight thrown by Kelly at the end of round number four, that knockdown, which puts Archuleta way behind in the fight. If you're scoring at home, you're gonna have to make a tough case to try to figure out how Archuleta may have taken one round of this fight. Right jab just pops Archuleta back against the ropes. And even though 
he's from Flushing Meadow, New York originally. Kevin Kelly, a lot of fans here in Las Vegas. He's lived here since 1997. It's a lot of his friends here tonight cheering on the transplant to Las Vegas. Listen, you live here in Las Vegas for over three years, you're considered a native. So, Kelly getting cheered this evening by some of his neighbors against Frankie Anchuleta, who now is just hopping on his high horse and just running all over this ring, not engaging in much action with Kelly, trying to get himself out of the corners. Kelly just walking the park tonight with him. If you're wondering right now, what does Kevin Kelly, with a possible showdown against the Prince on the horizon, learn from this fight? The answer is nothing. He's a veteran. He's 56 fights in his career have allowed him to experience some good ones and some bad ones. You chalk this one up in the bad ones, you forget about it, and you move on towards the Prince, and you recall what happened in the first fight. Because Archuleta tonight is nothing but a glorified sparring partner for Kelly. And a nice paycheck. Nice left there. Archuleta comes right back at him. Kelly, trying to sense the attack, gets him with a left right to the nostril. A little bit of blood now trickling down from the nose. Archuleta. Kelly's got him in a corner. That's dangerous ground there for Archuleta. Kelly gets you in trouble. That's common ground for him. He's been there. He knows how to get you out of there. That's why he's got 33 knockouts to his record. A nice left there at the end of the round by Kevin Kelly. Right to the nose of Archuleta. Let's listen to Kelly's corner. Slow your way. Very short on time. Okay. Right here. Make you bring your head down. You're up in the air. Okay. Bring that chin down, all right? Bring that chin down. Frank, I need some punches from you, son, okay? You're throwing one punch at a time, okay? You're throwing one punch at a time, all right, son? We gotta have combinations. You gotta let go in bunches. Bring that chin down, get the hands up, and let them go. You're fighting with your hands down here. That's the only reason he's touching you. Come back to the left hand. You can't wait. Ancholetta is trying to find the answers here against Kevin Kelly. Well, he showed a little bit there, but... Kelly responded with his own left that backed Archuleta up right at the end of the round. And he just heard Kelly's cornerman, Phil Borgia, tell him, hey, you're dominating this fight. Or something to that extent, as, as we begin sixth round out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Kelly against Archuleta. Kevin Kelly in the green and yellow trunks. Frankie Anchuleta in the blue and silver. And Kevin Kelly has come on strong here in the last two rounds. He scored a knockdown in the fourth, in the fifth. He ended the round with a nice solid left. And now he goes into the attack. Smelling some blood here. And a nice left backs Kelly up. He played with him, played a little bit of possum. Anchuleta comes in strong. Kelly now started to toy with him a bit. Backs up. Making him chase and miss. But Anchuleta may have gained some confidence there. Saying, I can hurt this guy. That was something that he was probably wondering for the first five rounds of this fight. And Kevin Kelly just hopping on his wheels here and maneuvering himself around the ring, taunting Anchuleta, trying to get him to commit. But all Anchuleta's doing is just stand back, hoping to slow him down. Kelly taking Anchuleta to school here with the tots. Something you see on a playground schoolyard. Less than half a round to go here, number six. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let's go. So far, the combination
collection of punches that Angeletta landed earlier in this round was the first big mistake by Kelly of the night. Other than that, he's fought a clean fight as he staggers. Angeletta with a left. Angeletta's backing up. Kelly's coming in now. Smelling the blood. And looking to close school out this evening. Nice and short of what? coming to close a round where Angeletta gained confidence against Kelly. Well, give him the round, you know, you had him good there, okay? When you hit him with that shot, you had him stunned. Pick up the pace when you hit that guy like that, huh? Breathe deep, breathe deep from here. Calm that heart rate? All right. Now we only got two rounds. That's it, baby. You, you got to flatten him. If you don't knock him out, we're not going to win this fight. We're going into the eighth, okay? We got three, eight, nine, and ten. Come on, we got to knock him out. Come on. Okay, we got to knock him out, right? Let's take a look at Archuleta's best offensive attack of the night here. It starts with him being on the defensive, though, first. Kelly comes in, nails him with a jab, and Archuleta comes right back around with a hook and does some damage there. Grains of sand are falling through the hourglass as we speak right now because time is running out on Archuleta to try to pull off an upset. He's way behind in the scorecards. Archuleta in the blue and silver trunks to compare to Kelly's yellow and green. Kelly has probably taken every single round of this fight except for the last one. Private punches there. Warning by Joe Cortez. It's almost like as if Archuleta was taking advantage of the dirty tactic. Kelly just gives him a quick eye. all of Archuleta's punches there with his right jab. Just over a minute left here in round number seven. Both fighters appear to be taking a little bit of a breather, gearing up for the final nine minutes of the bout. See Archuleta there shaking his right hand there for a second. His gloves must be weighing like a couple of anvils in his, in his arms there. For seven rounds of throwing punches here in his Vegas debut. Kevin Kelly looks back at some wet spot or on the mat there. It appeared that he slipped. And Archuleta immediately takes advantage, connects with a nice right, lands a couple more blows. And in a round that's been pretty lackluster, it could have perhaps been possibly enough to steal the round. Best offense we have seen in the three minutes that make up round seven.
hands go crippling. Good, you know. How do you feel? I feel good. Look at me. I'm talking. I can't see your hands. Oh, my hands go crippling. Okay. If you want your hands to go, when a man stops, how easy is an 8, 9, 10? Easy. As long as you don't load, when you do this, watch me. When you do look at me. 8, 9, Boom. Yeah. If he stops, boom, boom. Okay? When are you doing And you drop me. If you take a look inside the corner, you can watch that Kelly slips here for a second. He looks down on the ground. Achillette immediately takes advantage of the opportunity that's opened up for him. He lands a couple quick punches. Perhaps enough, as I mentioned, to steal the round. As we begin the eighth round here, just nine minutes left in this bout. And for Kevin Kelly, nine minutes to another victory and perhaps a rematch with Prince Nassim Hamed. This bout is only scheduled for 10 rounds, no title on the line. That's the reason for only 10 rounds here this evening. Inside when he ducks down low and he gets about Kevin Kevin Kelly's height. He's bending himself down and getting and fighting at his level. Got inside quickly with that jab. If he would, he, if he would have done it earlier in the bout, in the early rounds, it could have changed the dynamics of this entire fight. Thus far, Kelly in this round just playing conservative, playing cool and calm. Almost like the final player on the end sheet at a blackjack table. Just relax and making all the right moves. Some sort of warning there for a rabbit punch. And you can see the frustration on Archuleta's face with every missed blow. Cortez, the low blows it appear. Cortez just says, keep him up. 10 seconds left in round number eight. Pretty uneventful round here for a fight that has had only a couple of exciting moments tonight. What a way to finish the round, though. As soon as I said that, Kevin Kelly put together a nice combination to take it to the corners. What round are we in? This is it. What round are we in? Ninth. Ninth round. Okay, round nine coming up. How you doing here? All right. Take a look at the final seconds here of the eighth round. And just when you make an astute observation, you make a bold statement about a pretty uneventful round. Kevin Kelly has to put together a nice flurry of punches like that. And as we get ready, get underway here. And you heard the corner of Ancelotti just now. His Chavez asking around what round are we going into? Not keeping track of what's going on right now inside the ring. Losing a sense of time. And his fighter 
not having the timing that he needs tonight to try to pull off an upset against Kevin Kelly. and just starts to make contact. He set the knockout up, knock up beautifully, though, with the hard lefts, followed up with a couple of quick jabs. And then it's a couple more lefts until the very end, or near the end of the round. And once again, a fighter cannot be saved 
by the bell unless it was in the final round. If this would have been the tenth and final round, Archuleta would have survived and it would have gone to a decision. But since there is no saving by the bell in the ninth round, Archuleta gets knocked out. As we take a look here, you see it's a quick jab inside that gets Archuleta in trouble. He's trying to back away, but it's that left from right around the house. He gets around the big tree around the house. It comes in through the front door and knocks Anchiletta out cold. A few more seconds, Anchiletta would have made it into the final round of this fight. But he did not, so let's here with the final host fight announcement now from Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at two minutes, 59 seconds of the ninth round. The winner by knockout, the flushing flash, Kevin Kelly. So Kevin Kelly's victorious with a knockout this evening over Frankie Archuleta, 51-4-2, looking to improve to 52, perhaps, with a showdown of Prince Nassim Ahmed being his next fight.